Police are stopping drivers at excessive speeds throughout the city, noticing an uptick in reckless driving since the state shutdown began. As the state reopens and more drivers hit the road, they have concern these speeders could be even more hazardous. Madeline O'Neill is live on the Beltline with how police have been increasing enforcement. Maddie? Well, when Madison police conducted operations as part of a grant here on the Beltline over the weekend, they say of those that they stopped, the average speed was 75 miles per hour. Note the Beltline here is 55 miles per hour. The highest was 88 miles per hour. Then just this morning, police say that officers stopped a car going 96. So police are asking drivers to adjust their habits as more drivers return to the road. Certainly the speeds we're seeing are well beyond what I've ever experienced in my career. Traffic Lieutenant Tony Fiore with the Madison Police Department says they quickly noticed speeds were getting out of control in early April. Perhaps a combination of lower congestion and an assumption police would place their focus elsewhere during the pandemic. The dangerous driving behavior uh, is really what drove us to, to get back into operations. Operations like one on the Beltline over the weekend, which led to 27 stops, with drivers going an average of 20 over. The highest speed, nearly 90. There's just no forgiveness when you get up going around 90 miles, 90 miles to 100 miles an hour. It's uh, if any mistake is made, it's going to be catastrophic. Madison police also worked with Wisconsin State Patrol troopers on a continued operation to reduce speeds and reported racing on the East Wash corridor, issuing 64 citations over the weekend, with a state trooper noting a driver in a 55 mile per hour zone going. 126. It's the same uh, traffic safety issue, different day. State Patrol Lieutenant Nate Henriksen says pandemic or not, troopers respond to reckless driving and crashes have been down with less drivers on the road. But now is a good time to talk about safety ahead of Memorial Day, especially as more drivers return. We just, as usual, would remind drivers to pay attention to their speed, pay attention to um, other drivers around them, and especially um, during this time is construction season. Fiori hopes increased congestion will naturally slow people down, but asks drivers do their part to reverse the trend as well. Somebody going 96 miles an hour on the belt line again is, is not going to have any room for air. People aren't anticipating those types of speeds or that driving behavior. For most crashes from late winter going into this spring, speed has been a factor, according to Madison Police. They, along with the State Patrol, want to remind drivers going into this Memorial Day weekend to make sure that their car is in good condition. If you haven't driven in a while, watch out for motorcyclists returning to the road as well. And, of course, as always, don't drink and drive. Maddie, thank you.